Hi guys, uh, happy Wednesday. I guess it's considered hump day. I don't know why it's called hump day. I guess it's the middle of the week. It's the hump, I don't know. Uh, but welcome, today is Tech Tutorials. I'm really excited. This is our first. This is, I guess you call this episode one of season one. Very excited for you to join us. Uh, today we are actually kind of a continuation of the follow-up we did on Modern Marketing on Friday, which was about Proposify. So today we're going to be going in depth, kind of, we're even going to do a little hands-on demo about what Proposify is and how it can help your business from ranging from sales, uh, funnels and cycles to actually tightening up your overall processes and assets. Um, if you're like anyone out there in the sales world, I'm sure you've had a plethora of PowerPoint, slides, keynotes, Excel spreadsheets and everything kind of all mixed in between. Uh, today I am going to go over some of uh, what we've found to be the best tool for really bringing it all together in one nice house where you can send it out, you get signatures uh, for some agencies or certain uh, segments of businesses, you can get deposits or payments. Um, there's a lot of utility here, so I want to kind of spend some time going through the hands-on demo, but I am going to recap a little bit of what I talked about on Friday. Um, the tool is called Proposify. Um, we've used it, I want to say for about uh, maybe two years, maybe three. Uh, it's fantastic. Okay? We, and we vetted other tools out there that are competitors. It's not that you know there's other tools out there that do the same thing, they're fine. But to be honest, I've found that Proposify is one of the best. Um, and their team is pretty on it when it comes to making fixes, making great updates that make the user interface better. Um, and so, so I, that's one of the things that we look for at a tool is, is it growing, is it dynamic, is it going to have that power going forward for a longer run? Um, and I would have to say Proposify is one of it. Here's some statistics I went over on Friday. SaaS companies, they see really a big spike increase when they include interactive tables. Bonus content I'm going to do is interactive table today because I think that's so um, important for specific industries and markets that I do want to go over that and make sure that um, you can easily see uh, see how easy it is to do it with using the tool. Um, so what is Proposify? We talked about this last on Friday. It streamlines proposal processes. It's an all-in-one system. It allows you to create and send. They claim 18 minutes. I really think that I'd like to do a demo where we do it in five minutes, but we're not going to do that today. We're just I'm going to go some some of the basics. Down the road, we might me and Roman might have a competition and go from there. Um, track and e-sign. You can actually track engagement. So let's say you send out that proposal to someone that you've been talking with um, and you're not sure if they got it. You're not sure if they opened it. You're not sure about anything. So what's nice about Proposify, it does tell you that, hey, they received it and when they start engaging, opening it, what, how much time they spent on specific sections. It's really dynamic that way and it's really powerful. I'm not gonna go over all of that today from the tracking. I am gonna go over how you can quickly set up an e-signature to make things move along. And I'm gonna spend some time on the custom branded templates. Um, they offer a ton of branded templates. Um, however, as any organization would know, well, they don't have our color, they don't have our font, they don't have our headline, they don't have our logo. Those are all easy to do. However, if it's one of those things that's a pain, we can do it, do it rel relatively quickly, which makes things very nice for you. So, okay, one thing I did wanna say, if you do have questions that are outside of um, this quick tutorial or you know, one of our talks, um, we have a, a fantastic team that can kind of jump in and help. Um, what's nice about this is they do offer a free 14-day sign-up. So if you say, hey, at, send, send me a link, we can send you a link and you can kind of get that free 14-day sign-up. Um, but if you do have questions, um, we do have a team available. It's myself, Kimberly, Orlando, and Roman. And I'm going to show you them at the end of the presentation kind of so you can see our faces and our, our, well, the guys, we look ugly. Kim looks good. But you can see our mugs and you can kind of engage with us. And also a path on our website is energyhill.com and then our name. So you can kind of engage with us that way if you want us to talk specifically with Orlando or Roman about that. Um, but this is the process. Really, you get the you get the email link from us, you open it up, it says start your 14 day trial, you put in your basic information. I'm using for just so you know, for this demo, I'm using I, I created a fake company just ryanlaw.com me in a sense, I invited myself from Energy Hill. So I can show you some of the this is exactly what you'd see if you're just getting started. If you're already in Proposify and you're a rock star, you've got all the things figured out, you're rolling. Um, ask us some more advanced questions and we're, we'll either answer them for you. I'd love to do some Q&A, that'd be fantastic. Or we can loop in Proposify and say, hey, 
we can get the, the masters on the phone and we can kind of go that route. So if you have questions that are more advanced, this is not for the advanced user. This is for someone just getting started or they're not even sure what it's about. So with that said, you start up and then you say, let's go. What's nice about this is you can say, you can see they say, start with a template or skip the template and go right to your pipeline. Um, so they do have a, a pipeline that you can get right involved with. Uh, this is demo time. I'm going to go over again two things, maybe three. Um, one is the track and e-sign, custom branded templates, and if we have time, I'll show you those interactive tables because they're just awesome. Okay, so this is what you get when you actually, actually after you enter all your information, you see this, you know, hey, welcome to the um, dashboard. If you click on templates, you'd actually go straight to the templates. If you click on taking the dashboard, you're going to see this. What I like about this is it says, hey, we're integrated with Grammarly. Um, my grammar pretty much stopped in like middle school. <laughs> so I've picked up a lot of bad habits. I'm sure some of you that are salespeople in the industry or marketing people, I hope you're better off than I am. However, with that said, Grammarly integrates quite well. So you can kind of um, avoid those missteps. Uh, but I'm going to just say thumbs up to that. That's, or I'll do a party. Um, so you can give them feedback and then let's go. Um, there's two different options in the, in, the in the tutorial I want to go over today. One is up in the top left hand corner, you're really, it's your home base, it's your dashboard. Um, the second one that I'm going to go into is the templates. There's a lot more, okay? We could spend literally the next year and a half going over all the amazing features in it. But I'm just going to uh, spend some time on the dashboard, which is this right here and the custom templates. But we're gonna first start with the custom templates and I'm gonna click on templates and you'll see the plethora of templates that are available. I'm gonna say almost every industry, I'm gonna say almost every niche or field that you're in, you can have that ability to really bring out those proposals and really make them custom to you. Again, if you need help, I do recommend two things. Number one, partner with an agency, it doesn't need to be us, I like it to be us, but it doesn't need to be, or partner with um, a designer or hire a freelancer to help you set this up and get it branded to your company or your organization so it looks polished, everything's nice and tight. Um, if you don't do that, that's fine, but there's, there's problems with not branding, that's a different conversation, but you definitely wanna make sure it's branded nice and tight and aligns with your goals. Um, the other thing is there's a legal section on a lot of these pages that are dealing with uh, contract. Please, for the love of God, get with a lawyer to help you. Don't just send, you know, and, and Proposify does a really good job on tightening their contracts for the most part. However, your best money is spent, especially if you're, you know, in the marketing field, advertising design, app development field, construction companies, I'm trying to think what are some of the real estate, event planners, uh, accountants, Spend the spend a lawyer spend you know maybe three four hours with a lawyer. I know that's expensive, but have them vet your contract. Have them go through and really red red pen through your contract and say, hey, you're vulnerable here. Change this to this. Spend the extra time. Spend the money. Spend the time to make the contract perfect and custom to you. Don't use and they even Proposify even says, hey, here's our base template for our contracts, but we recommend you hire a contract uh, a lawyer. So always do that for your contracts. Make sure you're, you're, you put the money toward that so you're you're being professional and also you're covering yourself if a project goes goes off uh, the deep end. Okay. So with that said, um, you can see here you've got everything from design. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you can see on the screen. Design software, marketing events, real estate, professional services. Uh, contracts and presentations. What's cool about this is you don't necessarily need to use this just for proposals. You could have a non-disclosure statement. You could have a um, onboarding for your team and at the end they sign off on it. There's no money going back and forth, but the whole point is you're going to get that notification that, hey, so-and-so signed the NDA, so-and-so has signed this or that. Um, so that's always good to kind of know. Um, just kind of be aware of that. It's not just for proposals. I am going to click one. Let's just do accounting because my college professor would laugh that I didn't do well in accounting. Um, but I'm going to pick that anyways. And we're going it, to, it'll pretty much build that template out for you. In a sense, set up all the Latin, all the filler copy that you need. And in a sense, you can get going. It also kind of, uh, there's some step by step here. Make, meet your editor, all this fun stuff. It walks you through the tutorial. I hope for God I can skip this. Nope, it's going to walk me through all of it. Awesome. But it does kind of give you step by step. Here's how to use the tool. Here's all the different features, whatnot. Um, and then it gives you a template that you can use. Now, I want to zoom in on some things here. There are some placeholders, I know, 
um, that are gonna be in place that will automatically fill when you send it. So don't stress about that too much. It's more about you seeing those as, in a sense, uh, merge tags that will populate once you put in your potential customer or client's information. So don't sweat it with that, that'll all fill in. We are gonna go over, I usually go about 10 minutes with my talks, but this is important and I'm sure some people are just loving this, yeah, right. But um, if you are loving it, I'm gonna keep going. Um, you can see here, this is set up cover letter, you can put in your own cover letter, but the whole point is all of this will be dynamically filled in for you when you send it out to a client or a customer. So it's really nice in that way. What I do wanna go down to is the proposal. Okay, now this is just, this is not actually a table. Uh, we got a little bit of table here. I'm actually gonna put in a pricing table. Looks like we might have something here. Yep, this is a pricing table. I'm gonna set up an optional element here. So this is accounting services. I'm gonna add in a row, and I'm gonna say, let's add a new row for initial setup. Because I'm gonna assume, as an accountant, you would have an initial setup fee. And I don't know what that would cost, because I know nothing about accounting. Um, but let's just say it's 150 and it's gonna take eight hours initial setup, and there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the top. Um, then your accounting services. I'm gonna switch this, and you can see how easy it is here. You literally just have to go over here, and this is a monthly fee. Now that's ridiculous for monthly, but we're gonna say, hey, it's actually, let's just say two hours, or let's just say, I don't know, four hours, and it's gonna be 150 a month, so $600 a month. So that's not bad if, it, if you're setting something up for monthly. Now I'm gonna say, let's add in another line item, and I'm gonna make this one optional. And this will be um, W2s, oh God, I'm gonna mess this up so bad, and W9s at the end of the year, that you would prep that. Prep and deliver. Okay, we're gonna set that fee at, let's just say one-time fee of 500, and it's not, it's just a hour, I'm gonna put or quantity, QTY, which is fine. And we're gonna set this one as optional. So for all my Instagram friends, just be patient. Um, I'm gonna set this as optional. And the only thing you really need to do is just check this option. It says optional for clients. Now, if you wanna say, hey, they need to check that if they want it, you can check it off. You have the, you can, uh, they have the ability to uncheck it. Now it's also set to monthly. We're gonna change that to, instead of monthly, we're gonna just set it to um, unit fixed, unit, I'm, I'm sorry, unit quantity but they can actually check that and it adds it to the monthly amount. So you can see here, let me get rid of this picture because we don't need it. So you can see how that actually, it adds it all in from a monthly. Now I wanna say though, wait, I wanna see the monthly in this table as well. So you can add in right here, I'm sorry, rose dial. You can add in the monthly, hold on, rose settings. Oh, I gotta click on the whole table. Click on the whole table and you'll have these total options. And you can see separate recurring fees from total. So as soon as I click this, it'll actually say, hey, here's the monthly, here's the breakdown for monthly, and here's the total upfront costs. So you can see how an interactive table is so easy to use. It really makes it where your life is easier. You could also say, and again, this isn't gonna work because you're gonna have to do monthly services, but we could switch this option to be optional as well. Now, if the user unchecks it, you can see that that total monthly down in the bottom right hand corner turns off. If I turn off W2s, say, nope, I just need initial setup, I just need it cleaned up, this is the fee, this is the rate, or whatever the ranges are gonna be for your, your business, it's very easy to use. You have a ton of additional options that you can select with those pricing tables. Okay, so with that said, I wanna do one other thing and that was tracking. Um, when you send it, you click this button to send it, it's the green button up in the top right, generate proposal, and you, you fill out your client information, sends it out, it tracks it, it sends a nice little email that you can customize, but it also, as soon as they start engaging, it starts to track what pages you're on. And what pages I mean is by this section over here, over on the left-hand side, you see all the sections of the proposal. It'll actually track what's going on with the proposal. If it's being clicked on, number one, how, how long are they spending on the specific sections? I wanna do one more thing before we wrap for today, and it's so easy, it's kinda of laughable that I'm even doing it, but it's adding a signature. You just literally click on the signature icon and you can dr drag and drop who you want to have as far as your company name. That's all you have to do. It's that simple where you just drag and drop and say, hey, I want the signature to be right here. Obviously, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but the whole point is the user would engage, click on the signature, they would sign, they'd accept the terms, and then it really locks down the contract. 
it's nice because you can't edit it then because they've already signed on it, obviously. Um, but it does, in a sense, add validity to them where they know, hey, I've signed this agreement. And you can put at the end, this just has a general contact us at the end. You could put your contract and then at the end have them sign. So you have those abilities to really make it where it is your entire proposal, contract, budget, investment, everything wrapped up into one where you track, have them sign. You can also set up with Stripe and a lot of tools where they can pay a deposit if needed. Um, but the tool is fantastic in that sense that it brings a lot of different tools into one house. Um, I wanna go back to the dashboard real quick here. It's not as exciting because I haven't really sent a proposal yet, but if you go back to the dashboard, once you start setting up, sending proposals, it'll list them and kind of how they're doing, where they're at. Um, it'll also show if you have multiple users, you can filter by users. So if you have you know three or four sales people on your team, you can see who's sending what, when, how, to, how it went, did it close, did it not close. So it's got some real power there. I don't necessarily recommend replacing your CRM. I recommend powering your CRM with something like Proposify. Um, and that's where I want to close. Uh, lastly, but not least, we do have a team, I mentioned them before, Matt, Kimberly, uh, Roman, Matt, um, Kimberly, Orlando, myself. You can visit any of our profiles, energyhill.com forward slash our name, and it'll forward you over to our, our, um, our personal pages where you can set up a time to talk or what have you. Um, but what I did want to say is that it doesn't replace the CRM. So you can take your proposals and literally sync them with Salesforce, HubSpot are the two big ones that's very easy to do. But there's other CRMs that can integrate with as well. Though the two big ones, Salesforce, HubSpot, it's so easy. So what's nice about that is we can link up if you set your category to, hey, once they click accept, it moves it into our one column in Salesforce or HubSpot. If they don't accept it, it can stay there or we can move it to loss in Proposify, it updates in your CRM. So those are the powers that I'm gonna talk, some of the power and added value I'm gonna talk about in the coming weeks as far as syncing all these into a nice tight ship where it really changes your organization from a sales standpoint where it's not just, did they get it? Did they sign? Where is it at? Have they looked at the budget? Have they looked at what we're about? Have they looked at our values? Now it's a nice tight ship where you can literally set up those sections. I, they're pages, but literally sections. And also what's nice is I didn't get into this. Once you update a section, it really updates templates going forward. So you don't have this, oh, what version? What's the latest, greatest copy? You can literally update templates. And then anytime your sales organization sends out the new FAQ, they're sending out the most recent current version of the FAQ. Okay, so with that said, there's the team. Uh, we are in Lando Lakes, Energy Hill. Thank you so much for joining us today on Wednesday, midway through the week. It's gonna get better, it's almost done. Um, I wanna just thank the team for um, setting this up. I also wanna uh, just say that if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Follow us on our social. Energy Hill pretty much is our tag for everything, whether it's Instagram, YouTube. Reach out to us on LinkedIn. And I look forward to talking with you on Friday about HubSpot. 